Okay, so <coughs> arrays are also reference types. So let's see, visual basic uh, primitives are value types. Uh, these include uh, integers, doubles, strings, booleans, all these things that we've seen before. These are called primitives. Uh, he says value types are managed directly. So what that means is the memory location specified by the variable name holds the value itself. So um, what that means is mm, we get, let's say we have a, uh, a variable that's an integer, let's say it's uh, called my int or something like that. Okay, then when it, uh, that my int, that name, refers to a memory location. We said that before, right? There's a place where the variable is stored, and my int refers to that. Um, if we use the byval keyword in a method signature, we pass a copy, right? Remember that? Uh, so changes to the local uh, copy do not affect the original variable. So when we make some changes within the uh, method, within the subroutine, within a function, um, we don't actually make any changes to the original variable or the original value that's stored in that memory location that we just said. In contrast, visual basic arrays are reference types. They're not value, they're not what we call value types up here, they're called reference types. These include, uh, other, t other reference types are objects, such as controls, like buttons and so on, and arrays. Reference types are managed using references, or what are called pointers. For now, you should focus on the main behavior difference. So, how, what's the difference between uh, reference type and value type in terms of their behavior. Uh, when an array is passed into a method, now we did this before, right, over here, we're passing in this, we're saying we're passing in an array here because we use these brackets here, so friends was an array, so we pass an array into our sort and display method, we're writing the sort and, sort and display method here, so, and then we're passing an array into it, right? So, um, uh, when an array is passed into a method, the new local name is a reference. Whether it's passed by value or by ref, uh, this reference is a copy. And then he says it points to the same memory location as the original reference. So let's go back to this. So what did we do here? We, we're writing this, uh, this method here called sort and display, right? And it takes this, which we're saying is a, uh, an array. So it's taking this array. So what it's saying is that even though we said by val, and remember by val means that we don't change the original, but even though we say by val, actually it will change. If it's a, an array, or a reference type. Remember he says that uh, um, objects are reference types, like controls, like buttons. Arrays are also reference types. So if it's a, a reference type, so, if it, so an array is a reference type. So um, even though we say by val, when we do this to it, we're doing something to it. We're sorting the temp value, but actually what he's saying is we're going to actually sort the original as well. So it's not just sorting it locally here, but it's sorting the original one. So if we put friends in here and then apply this, part of doing this is to sort the array. He says the, ori the original array will also be sorted. It's not just going to be sorted inside this function, but the actual original array will actually be changed. So we're disturbing in some sense the original array. So, um, he says, in contrast, visual basic arrays are reference types, and so uh, what happens is, uh, when an array is passed into a method, 
the new lo local name is a reference. Uh, it points to the same memory location as the array, as the original reference. Okay, so uh, what it means is that it's going to change the original. The key result, any changes we make to a local passed in array, so any changes we make to temp, which we're changing here because we're sorting it, will also affect the original outside our method. And we'll discuss reference types in full detail in pro programming too. So let's see if that's true, if it really happens. So um, let's uh, go back and, and check to see what happens, if, see if this is actually true. So let's uh, populate, let's, um, uh, what do we want to do? We want to populate our <coughs> list box. So for, I'm sorry, well, yeah. So first we want to create our an array, and then we're just going to um, add uh, this string, basically, as the first element of our list box. So what does it say? First item before sorting temp first item before sorting temp, and then and friend zero. So we're going to, uh, this way we're going to be able to see what's in the friends zero position. And we can see before we do anything, before we apply our method, which we said is going to change things around, even in the original array. Um, so, but before we do that, the first element, the zeroth element, is Fred, so it's a, and that's what we get here, Fred. Then we're going to apply our sort and display, which remember sorts it and then displays everything in it. So it's going to sort it and display it. So when we sort it, instead of Fred being first, Barney is going to be first, right? So it goes Barney, Betty, Dino, Fred, because we're displaying it after sorting it. And now the question is, did we change the original friends array or not? And the answer is yes. Because it's um, an array is a reference type, so when you pass it into a method, the original will get changed as well. And to prove that, he says, okay, let's uh, do this, add first item after sorting, so after we do the sorting, and now let's see what friend zero is. So is it still Fred, no, it's not, because it's been sorted in the original. We're only referring to the original here, right? We, okay, we're not using temp, we're not referring to temp. This says friends, this is not temp, temp was look. So this is just a string here, right? So, um, so what is it? Is it still Fred? No, it's been sorted, so it's Barney. Okay, we can see that sorting our local array called temp inside our method does actually sort friends. This does not happen with value types. It says uh, when passing by val, try it as homework. Okay, so uh, next we're going to talk about determining the array size, find out how big it is, and even changing the size.